Hello there Booktube, how are you doing? Uh, you're joining me today on a lovely crisp, sunny, autumnal day for the end of the year book tag. Um, this is a tag that I was tagged in by Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading um, and it was uh, originally created by Ariel Bissett. Um, both of their videos will be down below. Um, and uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. It's a nice short tag. Uh, let's see how it goes. So the first prompt is are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Um, really the only book in this category for me is Robert Graves' Complete Poems. I bought this um, maybe January, February this year. Uh, and as a book I want to finish this year, I included it in my um, uh, mid-year freakout tag. That's one of the books I wanted to finish this year and I haven't touched it since. Um, and I, I doubt I will finish it by the end of the year, but I would at least like to have made a little more progress in it. I'm only about a hundred pages in and it's, um, well, let's see, the last poem is on page 835. So, you know, there's about 735 pages for me to read. <laughs> so I doubt I'll finish it by the end of the year with the other books I'm planning to read in December, but maybe some progress. We'll see. Number two, do you have uh, any autumnal, nope, let's start again. Do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Uh, and not really. A book I kind of think of that sometimes fills this sort of space is Jane Eyre, uh, which will probably be this kind of book for many people. Um, read it two or three times. Um, and I think each time I read it, it was around um, October, um, you know, as the night's getting darker um, and the, the weather's getting colder. Um, and so yeah, this is it. this book always makes me think of autumn, but it's not a book I read to get in the mood. Um, although there's obviously Victober, and I do often find myself drifting towards Victorian literature when the weather's colder, like many people do, I suppose. Next up is, um, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Not really for me. I don't really pay much attention to what new books are coming out. Uh, there is one book that it's kind of jingling in the back of my head and I, I can't remember whether it's coming out the end of this year or beginning of next year uh, which is a book, a poetry collection called Pilgrim Bell by uh, Kaveh Akbar. Uh, this, this is his first collection, Calling a Wolf a Wolf, which I really loved. Um, but I think his second collection is, is coming out soon but um, I don't know when it is and I don't know when I'll get it but um, yeah, that, that was kind of in the back of my head. Uh, number four is, what are three books that you want to read by the end of this year? Um, so, I think two of these books were in my mid-year free count tag, when I was working out, again, what books I wanted to read. Um, and obviously back then I had much more time. And these are two of the ones I haven't managed to get to. Uh, so, one will be W.S. Graham's New Selected Poems. Kind of like The Graves, um, I, I doubt I will... Um, be able to finish this by the end of the year but I would like to touch base with it <laughs> and to make a little progress in it. Um, there are quite a few books that I was kind of going through um, what books I'd included um, in the mid-year freakout tag uh, to, just to see whether I was <laughs> in the mood to read any of the books I haven't got to yet um, and many of them I didn't. I would like to give Canal Scarred to Death and the Family a go before the end of the year. I was planning to read it this summer and yeah, it just keeps getting pushed back. So I would like to at least uh, give this a go um, this December, but uh, I do have some, some other plans, so we'll, we'll see whether it fits in. Um, and then there's, of course, poor Mary Oliver, who got left out less, last month, uh, her new inselected poems. And I would, yeah, again, like to start uh, reading. So Mary Oliver, hopefully before November ends and maybe through uh, December as well. Then the next uh, prompt is, uh, is there a book that could still shock you and become your favourite book of the year? Um, I, I have no idea really. I have a couple of books I'm planning to read for a couple of sort of group reads and read-alongs. Uh, so David Wiley is... Um, you know, taking us back to Middle Earth, um, he's going to be reading The Hobbit in, um, I believe, in December, um, and those people are going to be reading along, and I'll probably be joining in because it's been ages since I've read The Hobbit. Um, and I, I, you know, I loved Tolkien as a kid and a teenager, so I could very easily just be 
just get back to my, my earlier obsessions and just nerd out a bit with Tolkien. Um, and then very similar to territory for me for books that I loved and was obsessed with when I was uh, when I was a kid and a teenager. Um, uh, Mark at Booktime with Elvis, um, his uh, humorous book of the month club. Um, the pick for this month or for December I think will be Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, so I'll probably be reading along with that as well. Um, and so they're, they're some old favourites and, and maybe they'll just, yeah, just, <laughs> I don't know, um, make everything else pale in comparison. We'll, we'll see. Um, I don't know, this year has been very good, um, but we'll, I suppose we'll see at the end of December. Um, and then the last um, prompt is, have you already started making plans for 2022? Um, and yes, I have. I have a couple of things I'm planning to do. Um, so as I said, David Wiley um, is uh, reading through um, Hobbit in December and will be going on to Lord of the Rings uh, in the new year and I'll be following on with that. And I also have uh, the Poetry Book Club that I'm doing with David as well. Um, and we've got the first two picks uh, for next year. So uh, December this year we're doing Lyrical Ballads by Wordsworth and Coleridge. Um, in January uh, we're going to be looking at Keats. Um, and then in February we're reading The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. Um, and then, for, yeah, for other plans there's not really anything. Um, pretty free and easy, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but that's that for now. Um, so, all I have left to do is tag people. So let's have a look in my notebook. Who I wrote, see what I wrote down. Yeah, so I was looking through for people who haven't seemed to have done this tag yet. Um, so I'd like to tag Lukash at A Cruel Reader's Thesis. Um, I, I think he did a mid-year freakout tag, so yeah, if you want to, feel free to do it. Um, AJ Dunn reads and writes. I uh, don't believe you've done this yet, so yeah, please feel free to do that. Um, and also Rosie Cockshut as well. Um, I'm fairly new uh, to Rosie's channel, and I don't believe uh, she's done it either. So if you'd like to do it as well, please do. Um, and it goes for you know, anyone watching, if you, if you haven't done it yet, please yeah, have a go um, and yeah, just look at how your reading is going this year and um, how you think it's going to go in this last month that we've got left. Um, so anyway, before I start sneezing or something, I'll <laughs> finish it there um, and I'll see you again soon. Hope you're having a lovely day. Bye-bye.